We have a lot of earnings that we're focusing on. How about Reddit? Did you check that one out? Because after the blowout quarter, it sent the shares higher. We want to discuss what's going on with Reddit and the outlook as well. Seema Shah is with us, VP of Insights at Sensor Tower. And we see this stock up nearly 40% as we speak. Yep. Um, surprise. I guess everybody yeah. must have been a little surprised. Well, they, they beat their expectations on the top line. They guided a little bit better. So full year revenue is better than expected, which everybody's very happy about. So I think, and uh, what I thought was the tone on the call was pretty positive and it sort of corroborates Sensor Tower's data of what we're seeing for them. Now, they are on an absolute basis, obviously significantly smaller than some of the other social media platforms, but they've seen significant growth both globally and the US, uh, like around 22% globally in um, daily active users compared to flat or slightly down to some of the larger ones. Like for example, TikTok is down on a global basis yeah. and a few other, you know, Facebook is flat. So they are seeing momentum. It is off a smaller base, but I think they're definitely seeing that upside and that was encouraging. And it's so different in a way than yes. some of the other social media. We had the opportunity to speak with the CEO mm -hmm. not that long ago here on the network. I spoke with him and one of the things as I was doing more and more research for that interview I found were that people who were on some of the other platforms got off those platforms because they liked the community mm -hmm. of Reddit. Mm -hmm. So it provided something that was different. Did you find like it's the innovation, what was bringing people maybe away from a more traditional social media well, platform I think to Reddit? It's the conversations part, it's the different topics where you can also ask questions, you can be right. involved in communities, and I think there's probably something to be said about the opportunity to be anonymous on a platform nowadays where so much of what you do is tracked by a number of different people, and here's right. a chance for you to go ask questions, participate in a community with also, it's a community that is focused on usually one topic, right? So you're able to interact with people who are interested in the same thing as you, which is probably harder to find maybe in the digital world now and particularly maybe even in the real everyday life. So I think yeah. that's very attractive to people. And the other thing that's really driving this growth is their international growth. They've improved the performance of their content. The inter they've you know, changed the language of their content in more countries. Philippines, for example, saw 40% year-over-year -year growth in active users followed by uh, France and India. So I think as they continue to translate their content, make the platform a little bit more user-friendly in these other geographies, that's also going to help them to continue to grow. Um, at this point now, when you think about you know the international growth and the mm -hmm. footprint, I mean you walk, you go around the world, and mm -hmm. most people know what Facebook is, right? Yes. I don't know that most people know right. what Reddit yeah. is. Um, do they? Do you? You know, based on some of the research you're doing, do they have a lot more room to grow? Uh, yes, absolutely. I think that they do because majority of their, well, probably I think right now, maybe it's 50% or something or a little bit more is coming from yeah. the U.S. So in those other geographies, it's much smaller and the fact that a lot of the content was predominantly in English before was probably a huge barrier for many people to join these communities right, but now right. that they can get local language content they can maybe respond in their local language and if I read it here it comes out in English or however that that makes it a huge it makes them feel more included in the community right if community right. is the driving factor being able to do it in your native language just I think makes you feel more of a part of it. We yeah. think about advertising dollars. They're so fragmented. Mm -hmm. The battle is real. Yes. Uh, yeah. Where the advertising dollars go. Mm -hmm. Tell me about the, what we're seeing there and what could happen in the new year. Yes. So advertising was very positive. Just some interesting stats that Sensor Tower advertising data. So about a little over, about 50% of Reddit's advertising or advertisers, I should say, are coming from financial services, um, media and telecom, uh, shopping are some of the larger categories. And this is very much in line with the other social media platforms. So it shows you how critical these categories are. Um, and as Reddit improves, I think, its experience for users, it has more opportunity to drive that revenue growth, right? right. And one of the things they spoke about a lot on the call was search, people using Reddit to search. And search is also something we're seeing pick up on some of the other social media platforms. Um, and the interesting thing is Reddit has a, is smaller, but it has like 140,000 hours per day are spent on search compared to 4.3 billion for Facebook. So obviously it's a huge delta, but there's a lot of upside because there's a lot of community knowledge there that people are probably going to be right. attracted to finding. And that's another opportunity 
another surface they could potentially monetize. So I think there is a lot of upside. And they're seeing growth, 35% of their advertisers were new on a year over year basis this quarter, right? And yeah. that sort of concurs with what we saw. We saw penetration of auto advertisers up two percentage points. They also called that out. And I think that also shows it's becoming a more viable option for advertisers in general. Yeah. Right? So it's probably it's a different, maybe a different crowd that you might get on Instagram and Facebook. Yeah, well. I think, I think yeah. that, that was part of the conversation I had yeah. with him is that um, there are different crowds. People yeah. like different things. I mean, Snap would be a different crowd maybe. Yes. Maybe those are younger folks. I don't yeah. know about the demographics, but Snap had some upbeat earnings. I mean, mm -hmm. that Snap stock is up uh, 20 percent now. Mm -hmm. um, so that has certainly been a great move for Snap. Yeah. You know, how do you differentiate the strength and the leaders for 2025 in the world of social media? I mean, is there room for Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snap? Reddit, you tell yeah, me. Yeah, I think there is room, because if you just think about them as, as much isolation as you can, they do target slightly different audiences. There is yeah. overlap. And we still, you know, with TikTok potentially not being around in 2025, right. that's a lot of ad dollars and user time that could probably go to YouTube because of shorts, Instagram, and now even Snapchat with Spotlight. So there's a lot of opportunities for the ad dollars and the time spent to be distributed on the remaining social media platforms, right? And they kind of each serve a different purpose. So I think there is room for them and that's why they've been able to sustain themselves for so long when others have sort of come up and gone down, right? Yeah. There's many of them that have gone by the wayside because they couldn't get that stickiness and that momentum. And there are others. I mean, I saw YouTube in your notes and yeah. other places people spend a lot yeah. of time. Yeah. Right? You mentioned TikTok already. Yeah. Um, but there's a lot of places that people go Absolutely. but the advertisers have to spread out the dollars and they're not yes. doing too poorly. Do you expect yeah. that they'll get more advertising dollars next year and the year after that? I think going forward because it's still, okay. again, a smut smaller pie. There's a lot of opportunity yeah. for them to grow. And All also, right. if we think about them going international, that's a whole other set of advertisers yeah. and users, right? Yeah. That they can All grow. right. Yeah. Seema Shah, VP of Insights at Sensor Tower. Thank you so much Thank for you. being with us and joining us on the show here talking Thank about you. Reddit.